welcome back to southern extreme tv man it is warm for november it is stupid it's going from like low 30s all the way up to like the mid 60s low 70s it's just it's stupid right now pulling into the property now should be a good afternoon guys i know we should see some deer i'm just ready to see something with some horns we've been seeing a lot of does out of this spot lately and i feel like these bucks have got to be showing up before too much longer so let's get down here get set up and fingers crossed we have some luck tonight Looks like we got a little bit of cloud cover coming. But the bad thing is I ran a deer. I never did see it, but I heard it take off running. And it went back across the, the top of this hill back behind me. There's a good deer here. I've seen him, I uh, actually seen the deer the other day in one of my, I, I showed you guys on the vlog. I, you didn't see the deer, but I was on my way here and that deer was standing in the landowner's yard. He's a good eight point buck. Biggest deer we've would have that we would have ever killed off this property. And he ran onto this property. So I know he's hanging out somewhere nearby. There's just too many does and too much food around here for him to leave. But we got to get him to come out in the in the daylight. That's the only issue. So we'll we'll see what happens. That's a big, big deer, body-wise, for North Carolina. <clears throat> and he's an old buck. So I would have no problem punching a tag on that son of a gun if he came in here, just because he's so unique, so big, and so mature. We haven't had that many photos of him, but if he does come in, he's gonna catch a, he's gonna catch a Remington Core Lock 308 to the rib cage. But I'm excited, guys. Hunting with the uh, Savage Model 110 High Country. She's pretty, man. Got a tracked optic scope on it. This is absolutely probably my favorite rifle. And I cannot wait to let this bad boy bark. Hopefully you guys can tell it's, the clouds are starting to come together, which is what the weatherman was calling for. I think that weather's gonna help us out. The only issue we might have is if these deer were moving a little bit towards midday, which could hurt us a little bit. Running a little late this afternoon. I would like to have been here a little bit earlier, but the stand that I'm going to be hunting, I hung it specifically for this reason of showing up in the afternoons a little later than what was expected or what needed, you know, when you need to get in here. 
And the good thing about it is with it being on the edge of this big field, I should be able to slip in and slip out without disturbing any deer in the field, which is a, a really good thing. All right. I'll see you guys in the stand. I love the way this stand is set up, but the issue is that it is very, very tight. There's not a lot of room to move in here. That's the only negative about it. Got a good feeling. We'll, we'll see some deer. We just need the right deer to come out. Now, these big bucks are moving this week, that's for sure. We just gotta hope they move in front of us with enough daylight to pull the trigger. I love, love, love hunting this weather. What's awesome is we've got about a four day stretch worth of hunting this afternoon. Um, well, actually not this afternoon, but over the next couple days, which I'm super, super jacked about. Another good thing about it is I picked up some property, guys. I picked up some property in a really good area. I can't tell you where because you guys, not everybody's all that nice. And some people will just go and hunt when they're not supposed to hunt. So I can't tell you where it's at, but I'm going there to hunt it this afternoon. I actually stopped by um, and looked at it midday today. It is a beautiful piece of property. A lot of buck sign all over the place. So with that being said, we don't have a stand hung up there yet because I don't really know where, where we need to put the stand at. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drive the four-wheeler off down in this bottom behind the house and pull my climbing stand out. I'm actually going to be hiking my climbing stand in and hunting on this power line this afternoon. I think it's going to be good. There's a lot of sign there. Um, and I don't think there's anybody hunting this property, so. <sighs> Man the crap we do for a deer. It wouldn't be that bad to cross if I didn't have a hundred pounds worth of gear. But I'm across, feet are dry, that's the main thing. Who knows what we're gonna see, guys. I, I love this type of hunting, so fingers crossed we see some deer. Really, this is just a scouting mission. Um, it's a scouting mission with the possibility of letting the old savage 308 bark a little bit. But so far, I, I mean, it, I think I'm in a good spot. There's good sign, there's good buck sign. There's cover, there's water. There's cover when it rains. There's a field out here that they can go and do their rut activity in. It's got all the key elements that you need for a big buck to show up. So we'll see if we can make it happen, guys. I'm excited to be here. We got a, 
a neighbor that's not too far away. They must have a crap load of dogs. Cause they've not stopped barking the entire time we've been here. But the thing about it is if, I mean, if they bark like that all the time, these deer are used to it. Hopefully it, hopefully it comes together. I, I would like to see some deer out of this spot just to see where they come from, where they want to go, kind of how they act in this power line once they get up in it. I'm hoping that they don't just run across this power line like a lot of deer will do on like a road bed or something. Well guys, that is it for today's episode. This season so far has been kind of dragging and, and kicking my tail. Uh, but I can't thank you guys enough for hanging out with me and watching what I got going on here at Southern Extreme TV. Stick with me. Um, I left my stand, left everything up in this spot. This is a really, really good looking area. Um, so I'm actually going to go back in there and hunt tomorrow morning and see if i can make it happen so guys if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top left corner it's going to mean the absolute world to me thanks for hanging out with me i will see you guys next time